What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video I would like to share with you a native and without plugins needs way to apply these amazing social icons, okay, social media icons into the footer of your WordPress website independently of the theme that you are using. In my case, we're gonna be using our Enzu WordPress theme, okay? That is the best free WordPress theme that you can download, but you can do this in any theme because this is a native feature, a native widget from WordPress. So, before we can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So, let's go to the guide. We're gonna start just like we used to start all the videos on our WordPress dashboard, okay? Let me load the dashboard up. Here we go. And right here, we're gonna move to appearance widgets. If your team do not have footer options, I recommend that you install Enzu. I'm gonna leave some links into the description of the video for other tutorials where I do explain more about widgets. However, normally you can have widgets from sidebar, from other sides of sidebar, from footer, for columns. I just have enabled the widgets from my above footer sidebar, above footer widget section, okay? So this section right here, okay? So as you can see, we have three widgets. We have the logo of our website, a small piece of text, and the social media icons, and this copyright content that is on customizer option. We have videos explaining how to use this as well. Just search for the topic on YouTube, type what you are searching for, plus Visual Moto, and I'm sure you're gonna find a nice guy to help you, okay? But let's focus into this widgets. After finding where you want to apply this, remember, you can apply in any part of your site. You can apply on posts, on pages, on footer, on sidebar, in every single part that you can apply a block, you can apply this widget, okay? So, we're gonna click into the plus button. Right here, we're gonna use the search and search for social, okay? And, as you can reveal, this is the widget, social icons. Click on it. Let me apply some zoom. And the very first thing to do, it's click into this plus button, add block. And here, we can check all of the social media icons that we can apply. Let's start with um, something like or Twitter, okay? So after this, we have the Twitter icon right here. If I click over the Twitter icon, I can enter the address, okay? Let me copy the Visual Moto Twitter address. After posting the address, remember to include HTTPS and the full web address, okay? So the full URL. After this, click on apply or just type enter on your keyboard. Enter. After this, I'm gonna click into the right side of my Twitter or my recently added social icon and click on add block so I can so we can apply another one let's apply the YouTube okay let me grab the visual Moto YouTube URL click into the icon enter the URL type enter let me apply another one, maybe the Instagram, same process, now we already have our three most required social icons present on my footer, let me update the footer page into the upper right corner of my screen, let's review. And here is what we have. We have 
three icons. By default, the icons came with colors, okay, the main media colors, but we can edit it. But let's start editing the position. We can edit the position, for example, justify to center. So we can move this to center. And we can align this to center in the case that you want using a vertical design for your icons. Let's reveal the live site. So here are my icons. Now align it to center. After this, I'm gonna click into the block. I'm gonna click into the block, click into this gear icon so we can open the, the sidebar of edit tools and let's start editing the style. For example, we can use this style, as you can see we did change the borders of the icons, or we can use logo only so we can remove the borders. Let me update so we can review this in the live website. And here is the result very fancy in my opinion but i would prefer once this is a dark background footer i would prefer the social icons become white so let's change the color to white so still on the right sidebar we can have the color let's imagine that i would like the icons to be green this is set and we're good to go. Let update and review the change. Fancy, right? How about if we have the default? We're gonna be able using default to edit the color of the icon and the background color of the circle around the icon. For example, like this. Let's review. And here's the result we got. As you can see, we have a lot of customization options, even into the native feature. Once again, looking into these options right here, we have the sizing option. We have large, normal, small, or huge. Let's set to be large. Update change. And here's the result we got. I would prefer to be the logo only, okay? I would prefer that the logo be white, that's why I had not seen this right here. And to finish with, we have options for linking settings, that is, open the link into a new tab, into a new browser tab, okay? So this is good. Or show labels. What are labels? What are the names of the social media, okay? So. Let me remove the, the border, enable labels, update page, and let's review. And here is the result. We got the name of the social media. Can we edit those names? Let's review. As we can check, no option to edit the name, only the link, at least by now. And it is, in this way, we did learn how to apply. Let me imagine that you, I would like to remove the YouTube icon in, from this. I have no need to remove all the block, all the widget. I can just click into the YouTube, go to these three dots and remove YouTube. Simple as it is. If I want to apply one more, click once again into the plus icon. Can we change the orientation, for example, for vertical? Of course we can. Let me just re-add the, the, the YouTube icon and the orientation goes vertical. It's good according to the menu style you have, for example, but it changes according to your needs. 
and here are the results. And it is. Let's try to justify the text, okay? So we can it can cover the entire side, the side by side, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our free WordPress plugin that you can download on wordpress.org absolutely free and install on your site to combine with any page builder you like to give your site more options, for example, templates, more widgets, more features for your Elementor or block editor, okay? In addition, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress team, to create a site like this one into my demonstration. You can use our Enzo WordPress team, that is the best free WordPress team that you can have, okay? Moreover, in the case that you are without time to create new pages and would like to start with a pre-built website, go to our visualmoto.com and review the Visualmoto Pass product so you can import one of those amazing pre-built websites, you have hundreds of sites ready for you with a single click and you can start with a ready website or landing page immediately. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!